It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. Who knows what we're in store for here? And it's all up next. Built on the side of a former piano factory. There's been plenty of music made on the field here in the decades since it opened back in 1998. Welcome everyone to M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore. Thanks for joining us everyone. With my partner Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. And like so many matchups in the NFL, Brock, our focus goes right to the quarterbacks in this one. Both of these guys, players who've been around the league now for some time, they definitely established themselves as veterans who know how to win football games. Yeah, I think the word of the day, Kate, is definitely experience. Two yep. guys who've been through the season several times over have seen a lot at this point in their career and been through quite a bit on the field. All that experience is stored up there right between the ears. <laughs> and the one who is more skilled at leveraging that experience more than likely is going to come away with the win. Justin Tucker has this all teed up. And we're off from Baltimore. It's Amir Amdullah with the return. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. So now we have the Raiders for their first possession. They're led out by the mustached quarterback from Washington State, Gardner Minshew. Gardner's the kind of guy that you just say his name. You just look at him there with the mustache in the huddle. He just puts a smile on your face. And oh, by the way, he tends to elevate the people around him. Last year in Indianapolis, filling in for Anthony Richardson, yeah, it was only 15 touchdowns on paper. But man, he made that team believe, that city believe, and he's hoping to do the same here in Vegas. Throwing to start this game. Escapes the pocket. He gets a little something out of it before sliding into a stop. I love that play. I, I mean, that's quarterback 101. Nothing downfield. Get what you can with your legs. But so much more importantly, protect yourself. Availability, one of the most important abilities for any quarterback. Minshew working from the gun. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. His first target doesn't lead to his first catch. So that brings them to third down. Timing is everything in life, and timing is everything defensively. That throw was just a little bit late and gave the defense time to close, deliver a pop, and knock that ball loose. Minshew now on third down. And down he goes, the Ravens defense gets it done. And the defense comes through, that's going to back them up and bring up fourth down. Every defense in this league is going to sign up for a three and out to begin a ball game. But to send him off the field to really add that extra tone setter by backing him up with a sack, that's the cherry on top of that three and out. Now the Raiders ready in for the punts, and they'll turn to former All-Pro A.J. Cole for the kick. This was not hit well. It's headed for that sideline. And this one gets just beyond midfield before sailing out. So the Ravens offense taking over for the first time here. And then brought out by the reigning MVP, the second of his career, the best runner in the game, it's Lamar Jackson. A decade plus before Lamar, it was a guy named Michael Vick who was the standard for dual threat quarterbacks. Well, today, that standard is Lamar Jackson, who at his best is an MVP caliber player, and the most exciting player, not just at his position, but in all of football. And don't let that running overshadow the strides he's made as a passer to in the pocket and as a franchise quarterback to build upon. Quick touch pass to the receiver. And he hit a seam and got it to the opposing 44. Pickup of eight on the run, and that sets up second and two. Well, this is a headache-inducing run for a defensive coach. I could just imagine that staff both upstairs and down on the field watching it, Kate, because now, well, they don't have to just worry about this guy catching as a receiver. Now they know he can be a weapon in the ground game, too. From the 44 here on second down. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. Now after making that catch, we see he's shaken up. Trainers heading out to take a look.
third and a lone yard coming up. Lamar now from the gun. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. Lamar throw it again. He'll get this in it, Reed. Stiff arm success. It's a gain of 21 yards to pick up that first down. Got to be a pretty good actor. Got to be pretty good at selling to that defense. That's a drop back pass. When you get a big play on the screen like that, when it's choreography by everybody on that offense. They'll come up first and ten. Jackson's going to throw again. This throw is cut. It looks like he went out of bounds right at that seven-yard line. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And third and short in your back pocket, you can get even more aggressive and take that shot. So that was holding on the offense, and a quick declination from the defense means this stands as a turnover. First and ten, Minshew. That's taken in by Tucker. And he reaches the 17-yard line as he's hauled down. Part of the reason I leave you pregame, Kate, and get down to that field and watch these guys throw and catch is I want to see their timing. I want to see their anticipation. That is picture perfect right there. A crossing route thrown that quickly tells me these two are on the same page. Inside hand off goes to Madison. And he'll get this up to the 19-yard line as he stopped. Call it a gain of two, and now it's going to be third down and one. Okay, that's a run that's whole hum on the stat sheet, but if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, it would largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. Here's Madison again. And he's going to be brought down after getting this up to the 22. Giving three on that game. And that's good for Raiders first. Win the early battle. Get a little leverage. One man wins off the line, and that's all that was needed to ensure that first down right there. And they've got themselves another first and ten. On the shotgun, Minshew. That's taken in nicely by Brock Bowers. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable and creates space to take that shot downfield. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. From the gun, a run for Madison. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. That's a run that you'll take the result in the NFL every time. A nice play, a solid game, but it's also a run that you know and you may come back to because if you were that close to breaking off an explosive one, you'd really break the backs of the defense. And he's laid it down to approach here from the 40. First down, and they go right back to it. And he'll be brought down after getting it to the 47-yard line. They'll get a stoppage now. Looks like we have someone banged up after that run in need of some attention.
ball on that 47 yard line. First down. Out of the gun, Minshew. He'll get this to Tucker. And he's able to reach the 40 on that play. The goal of that little drag route is to get him for at least a minimal game with space to add after that. That picked up a good chunk, and it was nearly a big play. Second and three now. Minshew to throw. So pass caught by his tight end. They come through with a nice skin, a 10, and a first down. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. And the play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. First and 10 now from the 30. Play action, it's Minshew. Blitz is there and he goes down. And a big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Sometimes I wish everybody could feel what that feels like. <laughs> when you're a QB and you just feel the air in the pocket getting sucked out and you know there's no escape, it can be just one heck of a deflating feeling. Not for that defense who puts a sack on the board. Still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. They're wrong. It's Minshew. coaches and teammates proud. We've seen defensive players get touches on occasion. I don't think he just gave himself maybe a look on that side of the ball down the road. The Ravens offense returning to the field for their second possession. And they know they let points slip away with that fumble in the red zone, Brock. They're looking to get him back here. Get this drive started. First and ten. Here's Derrick Henry getting it on the ground. And they sent it straight ahead, but the front stops him after a gain of three. Got to be rush hour, Kate, because there's a whole lot of traffic up the middle right there. He ran right into some gridlock, and he could only manage a few yards at most. Second down now, seven to go. And the motion man left. Lamar off the play fake. He's got Andrew. And as they bring him down, let's check the penalty flag. A game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. Back to the line they go. It's second down. From the gun, Jackson. This one's to Andrews L. Right. And this one does not go far. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. Jackson now, third along. Comes and he's taken down. The Raiders got him. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. Pretty even match in this first half, and you're just kind of waiting. 
Right? You just kind of try to get a feel for which defense is going to come to life. And when you get that sack, that could go a long way to infusing some energy on that side of the ball. The Ravens going to punt this away, and here's Jordan Stout to handle that boot. Ooh, it's away, but he knows he missed it, that one. Headed for the sideline. This punt out of bounds on the fly. We're waiting for the mark. Looks like they're going to say it's short of the 30. Now the Raider offense headed back to the field. By this point, partner, they are through that opening script. Through trying to establish their offense, and yet... Still no points. Thinking it might be time to start uh, switching things up a little bit. Tear up the old game plan and start fresh. Well, I promise you that's what's buzzing on the headsets and we're on the sidelines and in the huddle. Gotta find a way to just get into some sort of rhythm. who know how integral the passing game is to their game plan and their success. Those poker players, the best of them, when they figure out a tell, they know exactly how to beat their opponent. This defense right now, they're reading this quarterback like a book. We see the Ravens making their way out now. And it's been a very slow start offensively. Let's see if this drive is the one they can break through and put up the game's first points. New set of downs for him at the 38. A tight end in motion now. Here's Henry on the option. And they beat him to the edge. That run stopped back at the line. No game there that time, and it's second and ten. These linebackers of today, they are so quick. They're so twitchy. You don't get a body on them in a hurry, they're going to stick you right at the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. Shotgun snap to Jackson. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And he's able to get this down to the 36. I call this quarterback's best friend. Some call it a safety valve. Some call it automatic. But it's sure nice as a quarterback when you got a trusty running back over the middle of the field that you could depend on. Let's see what they draw up on these third and seven. Out of the gun, here's Jackson. That's caught by first. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big game and a new set of downs. This one goes for an even 25 yards. And that's good for a Ravens first down. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. The drive picks up here, first and 10. From the gun, a run for Henry. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. All right, still scoreless through one quarter, but that looks like it's going to change pretty soon. Couple of zeros on the board right now. Back to the bank in just a moment. Back at beginning of the second quarter, Ravens in possession. They have it second down, well inside of field goal range. Running once more with Henry. And he's still looking for the play that sparks the ground game as that one stuck for a loss. This coordinator tried to show some trust and belief in his offense. A run after a negative run? Well, you lose a lot of equity and belief in that coordinator. I don't think he's going to try a third run after back-to-back -back negative losses. Here he is on third and long. He's on the move. Oh, he's going to run for it. Decent game here, but short of the first. Tick, 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 
tick tick. You know, his internal clock right there told him it was time to escape, and good thing he listened to it. He was able to make something out of nothing and at least move them forward. Staring at fourth down, the Ravens will go with Justin Tucker to try for three. A pretty automatic look for him from the left. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And they're on the board. I never saw a play script that ended with a field goal. It was always a touchdown that you wanted. That's three points, and it's enough to give him the lead. getting set for another drive now and the last two drives have been teaching tape for that defense Brock and probably have earned this offense a lecture in the near future as well just haven't been able to take care of that football yeah I just kind of want to focus on those guys <laughs> everything they're doing on that side because the humble pie this offense has eaten it's been a tough watch here's the gift to Madison and we know running the ball in the NFL is hard, and that play pretty indicative of it. Here's the key, though. At the end of the game, those type of plays got to be in the minority, and the majority have got to do some damage. Eight yards to go. Let's see how they approach this second down. They'll go right back to Madison. And he's brought down at the line. No gain on the play, and it brings up third and seven. You want to see the term read and react to the little video in the football dictionary? That's it. Let's see what they draw up on third and seven. Means you working from the gun. him a chance to do a little drawing after the play. Let that other guy know. He just roughed him up and lost a big catch. Begins his return at the 16. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. That puck goes 63 yards. And the Ravens will go on offense. ready to begin this drive first and ten the drive begins with Henry and he's just spinning his wheels man this entire first half they drop him behind the line well he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm instead he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Lamar back to throw. The left sideline complete. And they'll make the stop of the 46 yard line. A big play. 23 yards to move those chains. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. New set of downs for him from the 46. Out of the option, he's going to keep it going right. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. It's easy for me to say up here in the friendly confines of the booth cave, but that was not the right read. <laughs> and you hate seeing him absorb yet another kid at the end of the play. You never want him taking unnecessary shots throughout this game. Finds Aguilar. And he'll get it up to the 44. 
You know, kid, over the years, I've heard defensive coordinators say, hey, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. you got to earn the right for me to call blitzes. And when you call a blitz and you don't get home and you don't hit the quarterback, you've earned nothing. wonder what's in the playbook here as they come up on third and 11. Now here's Lamar. And even on third down, he sees no choice other than to get rid of it. Not the play they wanted. It's going to be fourth down. Well, that's one you chalk up to the pressure earning that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target, hit him, altered that last second attempt to get rid of it. Here's Jordan Stouts coming on again to punt. The Raiders have their offense back out there. And coming off three and out, Brock, they really need to build some momentum from the ground as they try to get on that scoreboard here. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Turner motioning right. Minshew on first down. He's got the hook up to Devontae Adams. And he'll get it up to the 27. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable. And it creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. Second and three now. Makes the handoff. Now Minshew. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. I'm just going to say, maybe not the guy you want to pick on in coverage on this particular series. Gets a hand on that throw and knocks it away the next time. Or he could get two hands on it and take it the other way. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Now Minshew. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he crosses the sideline a yard or two beyond, it looks like, the 30. It's a gain of four there. And that's a Vegas first down. You know, they call that the money down for a reason. Because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. Out of the gun, Madison. And he gets a few on the punch forward. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs, gets the better defenses in this league. Second down now, seven to go. Throwing here, Minshew. Got a man, Bowers has it. And the tackle's made just beyond midfield at the 48. That one goes for 17 yards and moves the chains. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to move in the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. First and ten. Ball set up at the 48. They give it to Madison. Good yardage with a new set of downs. Hey, look, Kate, you can't just ask one tackler to go mano a mano and stop this guy. You've got to have the cavalry coming. One guy makes a hit, the others are there to clean up and pile on because one on one, he's going to run right through you. They're set up at the 35 now. Going to the ground again on first. And he's able to get this to the 32 before going down. Solid four-yard game there, and now they've got second and six coming up. You know, this is an offense that will emphasize the ground game at different points of each and every contest. And as long as they can reliably get games like this, it's not going to change anytime soon. Now we're on. This is Madison. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Talk to a bunch of different GMs, Kate, especially around draft time, and they all say the same thing. Linebackers are so hard to find. 
it's hard to transition from the college game that's in so much space to this game where you've got to play in the phone booth yet have that explosiveness to chase a play on the outside down with that linebacker just in. Minshew now on third down. Sideline, he's got it, and he gets the feet down too. A big play, 23 yards to move those chains. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. Brings the offense up now for a first and ten. From the red zone now. Gets it towards the end zone, but it's incomplete. Now they have to wait a little longer for his first catch of the game. So second down coming up. Perhaps a bit late breaking towards the ball, but still just enough time to get a finger on it and knock it away. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Now it's a bootleg for him. He bails out of the pocket quick. And not much doing when he stopped quickly. That's just a case where you're trying to make something when there really is nothing there. There just wasn't an opening for him to work with, and he was lucky to get what he could. Ravens bring an extra DB out there. Third down coming up. And the shotgun, Minshew. And this will be a Las Vegas touchdown. The Raiders take a second quarter lead. Devontae Adams, the touchdown. It's plays like this that make him so well regarded across this league, Brock. Yeah, so that's just a difference-making receiver, King. Yeah. You expect him to be the target down here. You did, I did, the defenders did. But what makes him a star is even when people know his number's being called, he still finds a way to deliver. Now we'll pause. The officials want to take a good look at this and confirm it was indeed a touchdown. Well, this right here is where having all those camera angles comes into play. We're going to get a much clearer picture thanks to all the shots we've got. Yep, technology, everybody's friend right now. We get to watch it again and again. Unlike these officials, we've got to see it once in real time. We just have to see, is there clear enough evidence to overturn the call that was made down there on the field? Those points safe on the scoreboard. The touchdown upheld upon review. Daniel Carlson on for the PAT. And the kick is good. And we're going to have some extra yardage added to the kickoff on the roughing call. So they tag him for roughing the kicker. And now this kickoff is going to come from the 50. Let's see if they loft in and try to stick him deep. In. All set now for the kickoff. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. you got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call. 1-844-MADDEN-1 and make your case for who should get a boost. First and 10 now from the 30. Lamar now from the gun. Completed to Flower. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. That chunk worth a nice 21 yards. And that'll be first down, Baltimore. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Looking to throw, Jackson. Gets this to Bateman. And he's going to be drugged down. Looks like at that 37-yard line. 
pickup of 12 on that play. And that's good for a Ravens first down. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. Throwing now on first down, it's Jackson. Short pass cut by his tight end. And he's going to be brought down at the 23-yard line. The end result there, 15 yards and a first. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. They'll come up first and ten. Lamar off the play fake. Four snap to his right. Now he takes it. And they make the stop as that play reaches the 14-yard line. Now the Ravens are going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. They bring their tight end left. From the gun, Jackson. Andrews with the catch. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well-drawn-up completion that nets them a first down. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Shotgun snap to Jackson. This one's caught. And this one's stopped at the three-yard line. Now we're going to have a timeout taken by Baltimore. It's second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. Second chance at six here. It's second and goal. Trying to run with Henry. And he's still looking for the play that sparks the ground game as that one stopped for a loss. I know from the position of the quarterback, Kate, sometimes you hand that ball, you put it in the belly of the running back, and you send him right into the teeth of a buzzsaw. You can feel it from the jump, and that call from the defense, well, it came at the perfect time. Now a timeout taken by the offense, and we're going to see if they try for two plays here or just try the field goal right now. So now, here's third and goal. Out of the gun, here's Jackson. They didn't break how they wanted it, and he throws this away. Now, that's an example right there where you just simply got to be on the same page with each other and get both ends of the play right to execute. They want that one back. Staring at fourth down, the Ravens will go with Justin Tucker to try for three. Pretty easy kick here, Brock. Just 22 yards. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that cuts the lead back down to a lower point. Okay, one of the areas that kickers and quarterbacks are similar, they want to get into rhythm. And no better way to feel good and get into that rhythm and start a game two for two as a kicker. Touchback. This kickoff should run out the half, so better make that return good as it's away. He opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. One last play before the break. He lobs it up, looking deep to the right side. 
Okay, Kate, thanks very much. And with that, we welcome you all into our EA Sports studio. This is the Halftime Report. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. for their team in this low-scoring affair. They're out and set. First and ten. Play action. Here's Jackson. Oh, holding the defense there. That one is caught. And they finally bring him down. But that is a big gain and a new set of downs. He'll move the sticks after ripping off a gain of 28. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. One play in, and this drive is already in the enemy territory. First down throw for Jackson. Escapes the pocket. And they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. You know, when we watch Combine each and every single year, I hope you get good enough to understand as a football fan, watch the big guy's first 10 yards. Don't watch the ends and the linemen run 40. Watch their first 10 because that's the most critical. And that defensive end showed you right there the kind of explosive burst in the first few yards to get home for the big sack. This is Henry on second. And he's tackled for no gain. No gain that time, and it leaves them with third and long. Not every corner in this league can make the play he just made right there. Sure, there's pure coverage, guys. Not really known for their tackling, but this guy, well, he's someone who isn't afraid to stick his nose in there and make a stop. Here he is on third and long. He finds his running back. Oh, he loses the football. And the fumble recovery is made. And this is marked down right along that 40 yard line. We all saw the brief moment of full on pimp between the ball coming out and him getting back on it. The impressive part is he kept his composure while it was still loose. One mistake didn't become two and he cleaned it up before any defenders could. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. And they've taken back the lead. Okay, we know that every one of these NFL games, well, they can take a life of their own every single weekend. Some are high-flying with lots of points. Others, like this one, they're a grinder. And when you're in a low-scoring game, every one of these kicks is important. Tucker on to handle the kickoff. Has this at the six. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Raiders and Alexander Madison ready for another go on offense.
Minshew working from the gun. Complete here to Bowers. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy in midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. They pick up 20 yards there. And that's good for a Raiders first. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. A lot of times it's for short yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play, just like that. And he's going to be blocked down after reaching the 43. Well, that doesn't net a first down. You get yards like that in the run game, you will take it in the NFL. see what they want to do here, partner. It's second and inches. Out of the gun, Minshew. On the quick slant, it finds Adams. And this one's worked down to the 33 before being stopped. They get an even 10 on that play. And that's a Vegas first down. Boy, they sure found the right route at the right time to hit the soft spot in that coverage. And that slant, it goes for big yardage. Here's Madison. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. To be a stud back in this league, it takes more than just checking the athletic boxes. There's an IQ, a feel, a patience and craftiness required, along with just tremendous vision. He showed all of it navigating that one up the middle. A new set of downs awaits him. Here's first and ten. And off goes to Madison, running right. And he's brought down for a loss. That's got to be so frustrating for the running. You're fighting the good fight. He even ripped through a tackle to stay afloat. But the blocking can't buy you enough time or room to even get back to the line of scrimmage. All right, here we go. Second down. Carlson to tack on the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Starts at the three. And he's brought down inside the 20 on an uneventful return. Now the Ravens all set for another possession. And they'll have a little momentum as they take the field here after their kicker drilled a deep one to end their last drive with points. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. They'll start this series with an option left. Oh, he lost the football. And this is going to stay with the offense as he makes the recovery. Call it seven yards, and now they'll have second down and three. 
Almost the impact play this defense was searching for, but they could only get half the job done, partner. Fumble forced, but they couldn't recover. I'll tell you what else it forces, though. That coordinator, that play caller on the other side, now got a little bit of doubt about his ball handlers. Got to have better ball security than that. From the 26 on second down, he finds Aguilar. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. They'll see he got five there, but Brock, all they care about is the first down that comes with it. Good luck defending that short yardage slant. Just not going to happen. There's a reason. This is a go-to play for just about any quarterback in every situation. Out of the gun, Henry. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. This is one of those plays that I wish we had the huddle mic'd up, Kate, because I can assure you that offensive line in their own way is telling that running back, sorry, we did not give you any chance. Offense to the line for second down. <laughs> Trying to throw here out of the gun. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on the throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. A less than ideal third and eight here. Now Jackson. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's gonna be blocked down at the 42. Eight yards on the gain, and the drive continues forward. You know, Kate, they say a dog is a man's best friend. A tight end that moves the chains on third down, that's a QB's best friend. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Motioning him from the slot right. Get some space around midfield. And the tackle's made just beyond midfield at the 48. They come through with a nice gain there. Gain of 10, first down. Kid, it just feels like any time this guy touches the ball, it's a big play waiting to happen. He could be lined up wide or when they use him as a runner. If someone doesn't get a hand on him quick, he's gone. We give to Henry on the inside handoff. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. Two on the pickup there, and it's going to be second and eight. Well, Kate, a two-yard run on first down, I think that keeps you ahead of schedule. But you're going to have to pick up the pace. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Lamar now from the gun. He'll get this to Henry. And he's able to reach the 40 on that play. That's a defense's goal, right, Kate? Just get us to third down so we can have a chance to get off the field. And that was a good adjustment on that stop in particular when the back ended up being the target and they were able to keep him short of the sticks. They motion the slot man right. Now Jackson on third down. Down the you know, it sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre-snap decision that led to a post-snap first down. Ball at the 33 for first down. Now it's Jackson. This one falls incomplete. He was looking for Zay Flowers. So it's second down coming up. Hey, Kate, I know it's unrealistic to expect a 100% completion rate from anywhere on the field. But in this close, you really shouldn't be missing too many throws. Those need to be borderline automatic. Jackson's going to throw again. Excellent game. 20 yards there, and that's going to move the sticks. We've heard it said.
said, and I believe it to my core, football is the ultimate team sport. And a well-run screen like that is the ultimate team play because it takes all 11 doing their job. Working inside the red zone. Gets this one to Andrews. And he's tackled for a short game. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. Three quarters in the books from this one. It's the Ravens' ball. They come in trailing, but that lead is within reach. See how they approach this second down. Bateman, the motion man left. Play fake. Jackson. He's got it. Room to run. And he drives this forward to the six. Rhythm. You hear me talk about rhythm a lot. Whether it's a golf swing, a baseball swing, heck, even a bowler, gets himself into rhythm. And I'm just telling you, Kate, from experience, these little throws to running backs, it's one of the best things to get your offense into rhythm and a nice little gain on top of it. Lamar, throw it again. Brock, and then there are interceptions inside the red zone in the second half of a one-score game. And if there is ever a time where ball security is paramount, it is right now. Yeah. They made a great play. Don't get me wrong. They deserve a ton of credit right there. Mm -hmm. But as a quarterback, you cannot risk a turnover. It's touchdown, it's check down, it's throw the ball away. You're literally throwing points away with that pick. Ready to begin this drive. First and ten. From the gun, a run for Madison. And they take him down at the 24-yard line. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to bring up second and six. You know, some positive yardage there, Kate, but just as important, they're mixing up their play calling, and they could very well be setting up the defense for a big play later. Second and six coming up here. exactly where you want to get in the ball right on the outside where he's got the space and a lot more room to work it's a new set of downs for him at the 32 off the middle they go with madison but still a nine-yard pickup. That's going to bring up second and one. This dude was just not going to be stopped, not by the first defender, heck, not even by the second one who was able to bring him down. No, it took a few shots before this crew could finally get this piece down. Play action. It's Minshew. That's complete. Here's Madison. And he'll be taken down, but not until he reaches that 45-yard line. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted, and he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. Ball on the 45, first and 10.
first run of the game is Amir White. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Perception and reality, Kate. The perception out there from the public is edge rushers are defined by their sacks. The reality in the locker room and in the huddle is you can be defined by your relentlessness. And his motor never stopped. Helped him track it down for a loss on the outside. Here's second and 11. So pass caught by his tight end. And he's able to reach the 40 on that play. So now here's third and five. Pressure coming. It's Minshew. Rolling left. Way to sweep it in, and they bring him down. And the defense comes through. That's going to back them up and bring up third down. Okay, the game wasn't on the line with that series. <laughs> But don't tell the defense because they brought the urgency and juice like it was. Getting the sack, setting the fourth down, well, it picks everybody up on that sideline. And now their offense gets a chance in a one-score game. The Raiders bringing out the punting unit. It'll be A.J. Cole doing the honors. And he sends this away. Definitely his best kick of the game thus far. And this one ventures out of play on the fly. The question is where it's marked. Looks like they'll say the 17-yard line. The Ravens and Lamar Jackson ready to go again on offense. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Henry gets it here to start the drive. And they're stroke. small game manages just a yard on first down now it's going to be second and nine the one thing i could say positive about the execution of that play it is at least he didn't go backwards they'll come to the line here second and nine well, it looks like the defense got a little too excited there that's going to be a penalty So he jumped too early, and that's going to cost him five yards. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Here's Jackson to throw. That's taken in by Henry. Getting 18 yards on that play block, and it gets him a first down. At that down and distance, this group was pretty confident the screen would get him enough yards for the first, and it did. And so long as it keeps working like that, I bet you it'll be a go-to play for them when they need it the next time. First and ten from the 41. Receiver in motion, going left. Lamar off the play fake. Aguilar with the ground. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They got 24 yards on the play. And that'll be first down, Baltimore. We hear about basketball on grass so much. So much more of the space and speed coming to the NFL game. That play's so indicative of it. Get that point guard in the open field and let him do his thing. First down throw for Jackson. Quick hitter complete. And they bring him down after the play reaches the 26. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. And again, it's Jackson. And even 20 yards on the play, and it awards them with a first and goal. 
I know the Combine tries to test everything it possibly can physically, but I don't know how you test courage at the Combine because there's nobody defending you. Nobody wants to hit you. But that was the epitome of courage to make that in cut and make the catch. They'll run here with Henry. And their struggles on the ground continue as he's tackled after a small game. They get two on the run, and that brings up second and goal from the four. Hey, I get it on first and goal, right? A lot of teams like to be conservative and, and limit risk. Even if a run is stopped short, you still got two, sometimes three downs to play with. Play action. Here's Jackson. And he makes the catch. Did he get both feet in? No. Oh, so close to six. Incomplete. Just something off in the rhythm of their passing game on that one. Time to recalibrate and keep throwing it to get back into rhythm. Well, John Harbaugh has challenged plenty of calls in his career, and he's got the red flag out once again. Oh, this one is really close, Brock. Did he establish possession and then get both feet down? Yeah, maintaining possession while being a ballerina, not always easy. <laughs> a lot to look at here, but I know he thinks he's got a touchdown. So the challenge from John Harbaugh ends up being a good one for his guys. So here's a big play from the Ravens as they line up for two. Jackson's throwing for it. And this is caught. So add a couple more to this lead. They've got here on the four. And that right there, a very important two-point conversion. Brock, their lead now up to three. A field goal. But only time this one. Yeah, the math was pretty easy on that one, right? You, you know what it does. It puts you up three and, and forces a field goal on the other side. But I'll tell you what else I like there, Kate. It's psychology. It puts a little seed of doubt on that other side. Maybe if you come into this moment later in the game, it's certainly an injection of confidence for your offense that they can deliver in the clutch. Now Tucker on to handle the kickoff. Kickoff taken at the three. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Raiders are back onto the field, led by Gardner Minshew. And he has to be happy about his game. We're checking some of the highlights right now that he's made so far. A good showing that's seen him in the zone from time to time. And also, he's just seen the field well from his spot in the middle of this offense. possession but he doesn't panic and lose composure instead or he hops on the ball and he saves the day they really need some chunk yardage here on second down trying again following the sack tight end reels in the shallow throw and he rips off good yardage but it will not move the chains Gosh, I really like this receiver on that drag route in particular. Why? Because he's a guy that creates after the catch. They don't close quickly. He can take it to the house. Third and ten. Can this offense get it done? Looking to throw. So close to a big play defensively there, Brock. But now these guys got to stay out there. They were unable to bring in the fumble. They just forced. Maybe we've got to bring a little bit of juice. But kind of like a boxer when they get a guy cut, they know. I mean, if I get that first cut, I can make them bleed. And you get that ball out the first time, I guarantee you, I promise you, those guys are thinking they'll get it the next. 
That's the two-minute warning here from Baltimore. Raiders down by only three. They need a lot here, but still going for it on fourth and 15. He's back to throw. You know, Kate, I don't think I've ever met a defender that cares. All they want to do is get off the field. Doesn't matter if it's a drop pass, deflection, breakup, even an interception. Challenged by the offense to get one more stop to get off the field, and that's exactly what they did. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Henry running to the left. And he gets it down to the 13-yard line. And now the Raiders call for the first of their timeouts. As they'll meet and decide what to do on this second down. Another run for Henry. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. A timeout taken by Vegas. That's it, second. And they'll have just one left to burn now. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Once more with Henry. And he gets them a little closer to the end zone, down to the six. Now the Raiders using the last of their timeouts as they'll meet and decide what to do on this second down. but this offense is moving closer and closer. Now might be the time defensively to get a little more aggressive, try to stick them with a the loss and make a difficult fourth down decision. He'll throw it. And the Raiders get there and take him down. And the pressure drives them backwards. Hey, I get it. You know, there are times as a decision maker playing quarterback, you take a sack and you cut your losses. When you get an opportunity in the red zone on third down, you'd love to give your guy on the other end a chance because a touchdown, well, we know in the course of outcomes of games, so much more influential than settling for a field goal. Justin Tucker out for the field goal. A lot of pressure hovering over this kick. High percentage look for him here from the left hatch. down the heart of the lead, and it's good! And they're going to grow their lead late, but still a one-score ball game. So after that make, the field goal won't cost them a lead, but a touchdown still ties it, or likely probably puts them down a point. Okay, this is one of those moments where the defense now has clarity. They know what the stakes are and what they have to defend. Now Tucker on to handle the kickoff. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. on this deep shot. And that's incomplete. There's seven seconds left. Time for one, maybe two more snaps. Defender's not going to be thrilled. The catch was almost made on his watch, but 
but more importantly, he breaks it up. Gives him a chance to do a little giant after the play. Let's the other guy know he roughed him up and cost him that catch.